What's up guys? This is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Louisiana. So to round off where we left off, uh, we are continuing our our forced exodus of French troops away from the continent and this time we've landed troops outside uh, we've landed troops in Newfoundland and we have managed we have managed to intercept the enemy forces moving in to reinforce the garrison. So without further ado, let's attack. So right now we're in a very good spot because we've started to land troops. Um, we've landed troops in the Leeward Islands, but we can't yet move them because they are incredibly upset about the fact that uh, <laughs> they've been conquered. So for now, we must continue. Well, we must continue our plans without as much focus in the Caribbean. And we have an absolutely huge amount of infantry. Because this army needs rebalancing. <laughs> Although, that in of itself. too much of a bad thing because it looks like we're going to end up uh, needing a whole bunch of that. So let's pivot you guys like so. You guys like this. Let's probably throw some units down like this. So I'm pretty sure this is probably the garrison at the back up here. Yep, General's bodyguards charging in. You want to go like there, you want to go there, and you guys want to go here. To pour more fire onto their position. Just keep doing damage to the bowmen, because the bowmen suck. Okay, so let's keep these men plus my coeur de bois to hold, hold off the Hessian line. A good chunk, but not all of my men, will march up. They may even run to ensure that we can get a satisfactory encirclement on this position. Pretty sure my general's chasing down there, general. Yep, no, don't do that. Let's keep these guys behind just in case. This. Yeah, you guys run. Get under cover. Quick. The native bowmen look like they're going to try and do some shenanigans up north. So what I want to do is make sure I keep pushing my... keep pushing the left flank. Oh, my men aren't going to be completely in position. But it sure looks like this is where the reinforcements are coming. Let's start specifically focusing on... Wait, melee? I must have accidentally set them into melee. So now they are static. Which isn't the end of the world. 
There are native bowmen up here. We know there are. And we're under fire from them. So let's charge my men up. <laughs> Take him out. Hit the Hessian line, you guys hit the militia. Poor old tribe auxiliary, they're not going to stand for very long. Let's just pivot my infantry. Get my skirmishes on the flank. Good stuff. These poor souls, as they slowly enter the map, they will they'll get shot at and they will rout. Go on my skirmishes. Devastate their flank. Look at that, devastating fire. Yeah, the native bowmen have come back again. Let's see what happens to these poor mounted tribal auxiliary. Aha! Sneaky. Yeah, most skirmishers will be able to see off the remaining Hessian line. Push up one unit of colonial line. The rest of my forces can march back. Let's get some line infantry on the flank temporarily. You guys don't need to run. You guys can walk and cover your strength. So let's get the 13th regiment to route. Fire! There she goes. Excellent damage. So let's get this regiment back in position position so now we're also ready if any more units push in through here yeah the 9th regiment is being peppered at by the skirmishes but let's get these guys a bit further around on the flank native musket mon auxiliary Artillery, set them to engage. There we go. The skirmish unit will probably cause them to break. There they go. Native musketman auxiliary have broken, but just keep letting these keep le letting these guys reload to do damage. Then we've got the 26th regiment of militia pushing in. Although to be honest, it looks like these guys are all 
dead. We'll keep some troops here to protect our artillery. But let's turn our artillery off. And then just watch what happens to the 29th. But yeah, they're in the field and there's just troops in every direction. They lost 100 men in a matter of seconds. Okay, let's speed up time. I'm pretty sure all the bad guys around here are dead. We're not being attacked or being shot at by bows. Um, so what I'm probably going to do is, because this will take a while for each individual unit to come in, I will probably uh, chop the recording here and then bring you guys back um, at the end of the battle. Because we're just ambushing. You know, if these guys were coming in one after another, then I'd probably stick, you guys could probably stick around for that because that'd be quite fun. Um, but right now it's just one unit. Then another unit eventually makes it. We'll watch these guys get massacred, then I'll chop the recording. There you go. So these are your brand new officer. I've got your nice pike. The guy in front of you has just been shot. You take up your position at the front of your line. Think, you know what? I've had enough of that. Let's see if he gets. No, he won't get shot. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna chop the recording here to bring you guys back in a minute. So see you in a sec, everyone. There we go, and we're back. But look at that pile of militia bodies. <laughs> Poor souls. At some point, when I get around to doing my Great Britain campaign, I'll make a note of how many kills have been done in battle. <laughs> um, just in terms of enemy killed rather than rather than lost. Because I think this implies there's been some friendly fire. This disparity. But either way, that was quite a devastating slaughter of French forces in Newfoundland. But then, of course, once we've taken Newfoundland, we then must look at other avenues. Um, and I think one of those is to grow my navy. Yeah, there's rioting, which is fair enough. They've broken the only thing they can probably break, which is the government building. But we're, we're repairing it, so there's no dramas there. So, naval architecture advantage is good. Naval architecture advances. Upgrade. Good. So we can upgrade our dry docks. I'm probably going to, ch to change grape shots. But we've also got a very good boost in our um, in our economy uh, there through getting the coke blast furnace. So let's keep going with the dry dock. You guys are just sat there replenishing. You guys are going to go Beef up our new army, ready to march on the Huron. So while we build our dry dock, so you're going to take, uh, it's going to take four turns to build a dry dock. So let's check which one of these is the cheapest and then just start to stack up um, enough ships ready so that when the new port's ready we've got ships to move out. You just keep growing your navy. Yeah, I'll leave. Oh, this general here is just a bit of a beast. Just going to take out the rest of their army, I think. Although, to be honest, that's pretty depleted. Yeah, that's probably a, a bloodshed we don't necessarily need on our hands. Yes. This territory is ours, you swine. Good. Let's do it the small French Navy. But don't worry, we're growing at breakneck speed now. And our economy. We don't actually have a whole lot of metalworking buildings, actually. We're mostly um, weavers. Yeah, we have a, have a few. As you trend northward, you start to see more, but most in our main industrial heartland, it's all uh, cloth mills. So rather than doing grape shot, instead probably go for... 
and I've got to do it at some point. But I'd probably rather go through the copper bottoms or lime juice. Lime juice gets us naval hospital, which is pretty damn awesome. Um, and later on, I'd later on I'd, I'd probably get a steam steam dry dock, but for now that's quite a long way away. Or do I get someone? No, Fort Frontenac. You continue to research explosive shells. No, I think right now that's probably good enough. What we've done. You need cavalry, don't you? That's what you want. Actually, even then, I might have overcooked it slightly. I oh, know. I'm curious here. Yeah, too light cavalry, so you probably want. I would imagine we'd probably want two more light cavalry to face off against so many bowmen as our navy grows, and because our navy is growing on the back of the heel, on the back of the quite a massive naval expansion, I'm not going to build any more admirals. It's your planishing. You've done everything you can. These guys just need to chill out for a bit because right now. Resistance to foreign occupation is very high. Start to build a small handful of militia ready to take over garrison duty because we do want these two regions because they're very wealthy. Okie dokie, I think. Apart from that, everything's okay. I also do want to take, take out these men as well. Aggressive attacker plus two commander on land. Good. Let's check out Europe. So Europe right now is fairly stable. Obviously I want to go after France. So Paris is a clear target. Well, I think Paris is my main target, my only target. But I do want to get my navy growing faster and faster and faster while I uh, continue my expansion out here. If you're still positive, because I want, I want this region, I want Mohawk to grow. Let's hit end turn. And let's wait and see if we are about to find another French navy, a French army landing over the horizon. So I'm happy for the Spanish to start to be unhappy with us uh, because then we will simply just take over the territories in the colonies but right now things have gone spectacularly well good so the university is as big as it can get you're still fairly positive so i might just build and just upgrade the pleasure gardens in order to try and offset any negative any neg any negative effects from upgrading any of the, of the Louisiana villages into industrial buildings. There we go. It's Mr. Gibria. His army is ready to march on Huron territory, then up to York Factory. No sense of shame. Our spies are still up to, up to no good. So let's keep checking about when we will Forward. be able to leave. Mark. It's 11. Yes. Oh, we can't build because the government building's not Magic. been repaired. Bit of a bummer. But I'll take it. Let's clear out Newfoundland. Let's demand their surrender because I always forget to do that. They refused, so we're just going to auto-resolve it. Good. Now rather than recruiting more men, what I want to do is actually make sure I combine my troops in order to keep the experience high and also the fact that we just don't need this many infantry. We can do a bit of consolidation, keep the experience higher across the board and then seek reinforcements. And let's probably run skirmishes up to the port to make sure it doesn't get raided. 
good stuff. It's also, yeah, upgrade the farm, upgrade the fur market, upgrade the weaver's cottage, and upgrade the roads. Good stuff. I'm sure I've seen the AI at some points cross here. I have seen that happen when, like, say, the British have taken over um, Agvituk. Here of the army, Julian Sayers. Yeah, this general's becoming. <laughs> he's becoming uh, quite the beast. So you're still waiting on that to be built. You're marching on. You're forming a garrison because the Brits are going to hit them any day now. One more turn and they'll be at full strength. We could probably afford to send these guys up there as well uh, while yes. Theodore can take up residence in Boston. You can stay where you are. Because I think Philadelphia still doesn't like us very much. I don't know. They can deal without it, or they can live without us being there. But I'm keeping them there for now, because we haven't really got an objective for them. Could send them down here to take these islands, I suppose, actually. That will be what Theodore does. Or, I should say, that's what Theodore will do, if he's got the range to get there. Not in one turn. But he can lily pad there. So let's get him into the port. Well soon and get him into the port sort of but then let's just not keep Boston unoccupied We're trading with everyone we can trade with our tech is allocated correctly although I probably like you like Anita to get on to doing punch card loom because we've got so many more weavers to do work the cost of artillery Saving money on recruiting artillery is good, but right now we don't really need it. Yeah, the Brits are definitely uh, preparing for an attack. The Austrians have landed in Portugal. But it remains to be seen if they'll actually take Lisbon. To be honest, I'm quite proud of seeing Austria do this, because Austria usually in these games gets kind of compressed and squashed and it's usually the Prussians that end up killing them. Agent detected. Ah, they spotted us. Try to get back in. Nope, they also they still know he's there. Lots of new farms, that's great. Actually this might be part of the reason why we couldn't leave the city. Man no. forward. Yes, my lord. Oh, that's soon. You guys wait there. Just keep building. Keep upgrading. Because we now we have another British army. Somewhere on the loose. Ooh, palatial estates. That might do the trick. Let's just start upgrading all our farms. It's the most expensive farm upgrade we can do. But it's the end of the line, so when there's not going to be any more farming construction jobs needed. Too bad most of these areas, their uh, population has grown, but also I think it's a question of uh, growth. When you start to conquer other regions, you get emigration from home theatres, which can be very useful. Three more turns. The question is, do I... Well, I can't, really. Not with two seconds. I was about to say, do I just betray them and just attack? But I don't really have the capacity. And I'm actually a bit reluctant to move Theodore if I know the Brits are coming. So you stay there. You keep growing your troops and let's well next turn we'll start to recruit um, artillery and cavalry to back up this force oh, let's also I can't repair Fox yeah we do know the British are on the way so it might be 
but our forces here instead go and secure Jamaica and Curacao. One more turn till we get explosive shells. Oh yeah. They're going to declare on us. And when they do, they're going to pay. They're going to pay big time. This is it. This is why we need to... Uh, we need to get the most out of our shipyards. They can't really afford... Or at least our dockyard. They can't afford to sit idle. Because we do need... A good navy. So that's explosive shells built. Upgrade our buildings. It looks like they're going to go for a mass attack against Quebec. Ready for Let's move Theodore up to Fort Boyard. You guys could really do with some good infantry, really. Get you of skirmishes and then get two... Uh, two howitzers, maybe three howitzers would be good. One more turn till the army's been recruited. Trouble is, is this a good navy? Yeah, it's a pretty good navy. Better navy than what we have, I'll just say that. But one more turn till ours is done. We've got roads on the Leeward Islands, but let's go back to our farm upgrading. Mainly because I do this because I'm, I'm pretty much feeling a bit lazy. And I don't want to go hunting for farms when I can just do this. If I didn't have as much money, I'd be more concerned about which farms I was investing in. But I have enough money, I'm not concerned specifically about which ones I'm investing in. But yeah, the British are coming. It's got Kevin McDowell and Gareth Worthington. More militia at the Leeward Islands. Troops forward. Yes. Minus eight becomes minus five. Make so ready. maybe next turn. At the ready. Well, not long in any case. Look, there is a limit to how many use how useful fifth rates are going to be later on, but they will be useful, absolutely, because there'll be armies, there will be navies we don't want to send. We don't want to send uh, our big ships into. Okay, one more turn to we get. Uh, quick lime, not quick lime, lime and sauerkraut. Then we can upgrade a dockyard again to a naval hospital. Let's change this artillery research to joint stock companies because quick lime is not as much of a requirement for us yet. Man, you're on the march to Fort Salt St. Marie. Rats in a chain. Their army's pretty depleted. Hmm. Let's take him out. Because we will need to follow follow it up fairly quickly with a priest. Or I'll just build a church school up there to help convert the population population away from animism to uh, Catholicism. So let's set up a big artillery park because we are on the offensive but before we do that let's check out the American infantry mercenaries they look pretty good I think they look pretty neat so let's build a a large defensive line well not defensive line but a line combine our cavalry on both flanks Let's push up. Let's use the actual tool. Although it is actually quite slow. Okay, I may have been a bit overzealous with that first target. 
Especially as these two guys drop into square. It's got a cavalry into the mix. I've been very optimistic. Come on, you men. They smash into the bowmen. Curiosities. Stay away from the medicine men. There we go. The enemy line is starting to break. What's this dying to break? It is breaking. There is no starting to. You guys smash into the native armed tribesmen. Yeah, they were unsure about the... Uh, the medicine men were unsure. Okay, let's bring the cuirassiers over into the medicine men. There's a whole bunch of artillery firing. Who at? Just pick a unit, I suppose. Send our men to go uh, chase down some of the fleeing troops. As the artillery keeps firing, pretty sure that's all of them. Oh no, there is still a bowman unit. Okay, there they go. Ah, fall back. Call our bluff. Okay, well, my cavalry can just keep chasing them down. There's no inherent problem letting them do that. Especially when everyone else is about to mow down these infantry that are just coming back into play. How are you routing? Has there been friendly fire with the artillery? Looks like it. Fair enough. Was not watching where my guns were pointing. Oh, these are bowmen hidden at the back of the map. I see. Okay, let's pull the cavalry back. Issue the recall. You charge the musket men, you're cuirassiers, you don't take any crap from anybody. Yeah, I knew the bowmen wouldn't like cuirassiers. Do look rather good. You guys need to run into position. Just 
bombard the new the new enemy with artillery while we mow down the rest of these chaps with musketry. Let's watch the Native American infantry or the American infantry mercenaries into the mix. Get up in their faces if they won't show themselves. Right Whoa, Let's see what you guys are about to do. Still did it. Let's charge into them. Very bloody messy battle here on my part, I must admit. Let's just stop the artillery now. Because you have been caught and you will turn around and engage. I'm concerned about the number of enemies nearby. I would be too. Especially if there's, there's only 85 of you. 81. The native troops fight with an axe. Well, that's speed up time because it's just the one. It's just the one native warrior, actually. Yeah, let's end that battle there. Quite a nice victory against the bulk of their forces, I believe. Okay, get rid of the horse breeder. Get rid of this. Oh, no, actually, don't worry about getting rid of it. Towns are not growing yet, but they will be. Let's get this army replenished. Ready for the continued march. Maybe not directly to, to uh, York Factory, but instead maybe up to Moose Factory and then by sea. Up to the northwest. Cool, so next turn we'll get we've done that we've done that next turn we'll get the new technology so we can upgrade the dry dock almost immediately there they go britain's declared on us and they've got a whole bunch of allies sweden refused to join us we are no longer allied with sweden but no one joined the british they might be sending some of their heavy killer fleets to the uh to the caribbean Aha, one army's remained on the north bank, one has landed towards Quebec. Those men would be lovely to capture, those ships, because they're only a handful of second rates. But we do not have the naval strength to do it. If I was a gambling man, those those French soldiers are soon coming on coming uh, to a to a coast near me. Okay. So I think the correct course of action will be to push Theodore's army to engage the British that landed south of the river and then the city, the garrison inside the city must repel the first attack before uh, chasing after British forces and they may actually capture somewhere. So you've got lime juice and sauerkraut. Would love to take these guys, but I do not trust myself, even with some good ships. Let's build a naval hospital, and let's. So we've got a bunch of forts there. Let's build a. I well, can't build anything because we've got not very much money. Because a naval hospital is seven thousand smackaroonies. Boston now no longer has any religious problem with us, Blessings. so the missionary will instead move to New York. And continue to start converting the population very quickly, apparently. 9%. Our agent's been spotted. Port blockaded, port blockaded, port blockaded. But yeah, we can't really fight them. Whole bunch of upgrades there. 
You men. Plenish. Let us... We can't build anything. Can't build even a magistrate here. But we've got this force here, which looks like they will attempt a an attack. So let's pick up a. Well, we can't recruit in general because you don't have a don't have enough men. But it looks like this force will want to move towards Montreal to head the British off. You will push up here. push up to this pass and intercept the British whichever direction they go. Yeah, I'm sure you guys could probably take out two seconds and a heavy frigate with six fourths, but as you know I'm pants. But looking at the timer, I believe that's time to end the part. So, thanks for watching guys. Hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you next time for goddamn more pounding the hell out of each other <laughs> in the Americas with some Europeans. Radio. Cheers, everyone.